Uh, this is just a follow-up video to my guitar maintenance, you know, video. I want to show you guys how I dressed up my frets and did the fretboard and stuff. See how nice and shiny those frets are? All even, all perfect. And how I do that... <coughs> Come over here. I have uh, all my guitar stuff. It's kind of back in this cove, and I'll. It's. I make it all portable so I can take it. You know. Especially if people call me up and I need to go somewhere to fix up their guitars or something. Got all my stuff right there. A bunch of different strings and. A bunch of different shit. But, um. What I do is I have a couple tools that I use, if I can find them. This guy, it's cheap. Um, it's got, you know, this little end that you can do fret dressing with. And, um, but this is pretty coarse sandpaper, so what I'll do is lay down masking tape on the neck of this guitar you know, on the fretboard, before I clean it or anything. Lay it in between, just so the frets are sticking up. Okay, all the way up. I will go over the top of the whole fret with those and kind of go over the edges and stuff, you know, crowning the frets. and Then, um, after I'm done with that, getting all of them, um, I'll go back through with very um, fine steel wool and I will go over it to polish the frets up themselves then once I've done that I will get my um, metal polish and you can use pretty much any kind of metal polish I have um, this stuff you know fucking just random metal polish. I used to use this stuff, but I can't find much of this stuff anymore. I have some of this mixed in with that stuff. This stuff was the best. Well, I mean, technically Mother's is the best, but it's expensive as fuck, so this stuff... And this comes in more of a liquid form, so it's better that way. But, um, yeah. And you just polish the shit out of them frets with that, and boom, it's like that. And then you rip off the uh, masking tape and go to town on it with, uh, you know, your olive oil. Or, you know, you, you should only do the olive oil part, like, every so often when you're, you know, your fretboard's starting to get, you know, really dry in between, um string changes and stuff because that will last a while other than that use the petroleum um, base um, cleansers and you know conditioners and stuff people keep talking to me about lemon oil and lemon juice to clean it I know it sounds you know good and whatever and Dunlop sells lemon oil and this and that and for lemon juice and stuff. Um, think about citric acid. Do you really think that's something that's going to be good for, you know, a dark wood and fretboard on a guitar? When you put citric acid in your mouth, what does it do? It dries it out. Do you want to put that on a fretboard? Even though it's lemon oil, it's still going to evaporate faster than, you know, any other kind of oil base is going to so I would recommend the not the most non-intrusive way of doing it and you know the most gentle way of doing it and the long-lasting way to do it is either olive oil or petroleum based substances um, linseed oil and shit like that there those are chemically altered um, oils and these are things I know because I also it, 
on top of working in, you know, wood shops and woodworking um, ordeals my entire life, I've also worked for Columbia Paint, Sherwin-Williams, and Rada Paint. So I am 100% certified and trained on paints and oils and chemically, you know, chemically altered um, protective substances. So um, I'm just trying to give my advice to people. There's no need to try to argue with me on my page. If you think you have it figured out, good. Do it your way. <laughs> but um, if you're at least going to come and click on the video and watch it, I mean, at least try my way, and I guarantee that you'll thank me later on down the road. Um, rest of the guitar is nice and clean. Everything's in good order. So, once again, this is 101 on fretboard maintenance and guitar maintenance. Um, and let me reiterate on this. You know, yeah, your guitar needs to have moisture in it. Don't can misconstrue that with, like, it being wet. <laughs> you don't want a wet guitar. <laughs> you just want it to have moisture in it because it's, I mean, dry wood is never a good thing. And um, you need to create some kind of, like, constant humidity for this. But for the neck, water... It, it's going to evaporate and dry out the, the fretboard and this is why think about uh, you know timber that would have you know gone waterlogged or been in a river you know yeah it's soaked with water and shit but as soon as it gets out and hits sun and stuff what does it do it dries out twice as bad and then becomes useless you know, cracked up driftwood and just destroyed by, because water comes in and it, and the sun comes and evaporates that water and it dries out everything very bad. So, you, you're, the wood on your guitar needs oils, natural oils, non-intrusive oils, not chemically altered oils. <laughs> so, just keep that in mind. And, uh, keep rocking. And those are the new strings. Alright guys, peace.